Yeah. But it was real laid back and cool. So one of the supervisors like came up to us and um and Tyon I always have him on the show. But we were like, guess what? We told we told the supervisor, guess what? She was like, what? She was like, what's that? I was like, what's that over there? She was like, what is that? I don't know what you're talking about. These nuts. She was like, no, no, you did not just say that. I mean, we almost got like suspended, fired. Well, I'm gonna say we was man. Now, yeah, we used to hit that mug with all the teachers and <laughs> just you know just blurting it out when ain't nobody looking in class. Yeah, that like, was yeah. That, that that's been around for yeah, a Dr. while. Yeah, Doctor Dre got me a lot of referrals. Like a lot of referrals. I must say, I ain't even never think about it like that. But yeah. he got me a lot of referrals. Yeah, man. yeah definitely. Um, but yeah, Dre know how to put a, a body of work together, though. He definitely know how to put a body of work together. And shout out to the boss, the boss in the chat room, WBRP. Boss. Always got some great, great music shows. Appreciate you for coming through. Um, here's another one, and this was like a click versus click. Mm-hmm. Very interesting one right here. Wu Tang, Wu Tang got a lot of dudes. Ghostface Killer, Raekwon, um. RZA, RZA, who else do they have? You got, um, you say Med? Method Man? Yeah. All of those guys. ODB. Versus Young Money. Young Money, you got Lil Wayne, you got Nicki Minaj, you got Drake. Um, I don't know if you want to throw Tiger in there, I don't know if he's still a part of that, but you put the bodies of work up against each other. Very similar. Wu Tang had the lyricism. Uh, Young Money is definitely, definitely new school. That's it's new school music. Yeah. It's it's uh, Nicki Minaj does have she got some lyricism to her. Lil Wayne can definitely use some mm-hmm. some hyperboles and some mm-hmm. comparisons. Yeah, he's 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 mm-hmm. good at that. He hasn't came out with some, anything in a while. Drake obviously considered in the new school. Um, and the boss says X Squad is the Wu Tang of Spreaker. It's live, hundred. <laughs> it's like a hundred of y'all. <laughs> nah, for real. It is, man. It is, man. We 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 a movement. We we moving. We shaking. We trying to make something happen. But out of, all, out of those two, again, I, I gotta go Wu Tang, man. They, especially the album that they came out with together. Yeah. The the, the amount of music that they came out yeah, with. For real. The beats alone yeah. was like so like. Yeah. You know what I mean? I the way they the, was chopping them beats up. like ODB, too. Forget about ODB. Yeah, yeah I said ODB. RP. Uh-huh. Yeah, you uh-huh. said that, yeah. So, uh-huh. yeah, the way Riz was chopping them beats up, though, was just like, whoa, bro. Like, I never heard samples chopped up like that. Even yeah. by Premiere. I mean, you know, Premiere's yeah, Premiere. You know, and, um, but I ain't never heard samples chopped up like that. Just, yeah. He would get the baseline parts of it and muffle it and. It, it was. Like, it just. Yeah. A lot of the songs too you still remember to this day. Cream. Oh yeah. You remember that? Uh-huh. You remember um Met the Man, you remember all you remember a lot of these songs that uh-huh. they had. I mean and even Offsprings, if you I mean, you know, of course he wasn't a part of it, but even Offsprings like Red Man. Red Man, yeah, right. And Met the by Man himself and, Red Man, and then Met the Man and Red Man by themselves. Right, exactly. I mean together, like, yeah. They 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 spurred a lot in hip hop. A mm-hmm. lot of people wanted to be like Wu Tang yeah. growing up, a lot of and the clothes too. Now they have clothes. Yeah, they had the clothes yeah. line too. Uh-huh. They they made an impact on hip hop. Symbol alone is like right. yeah, but I'm gonna go Wu Tang man. Yeah, they made an hip uh, impact alone. Yeah, that's um, movies man forever. Exactly, forgot about that too. Yeah, he doing. But Young movies. Money is definitely, and I think a lot of these guys, as their category continues to grow, Young Money is definitely gonna be up there as one of the best that we'll be talking about. With for a long time, with all yeah. the artists they got on the roster, yeah, you, a lot of people, it's funny. A lot of people talk about Birdman, and I, you know, I don't know, you know, but man, that dude <laughs> knows something. He knows he got he knows it's just too he much on his yeah, yeah. Man, on his resume, man. It's yeah. like dude, like it's like you say, numbers don't lie, and right. he got the numbers. Numbers wise, of course, Young Money is eating right, up Wu right, Tang, right, right. you know. Right. Uh, you know, but, but you just look at the quality. I think qual- the quality right. of music, right? Quality over quantity is basically mm-hmm. this whole list right here, right? And I just, you know, as far as authentic, and that's why I even too, why I felt like I would uh, rock with uh, the, even why, like, like I said, with picking Drake over Nas. I just never rocked with Nas. I just, I don't really know too much of Nas music, but I do like Drake because he's authentic with himself. 
Right. You know what I mean? He, I like, he knows who he is. Right. I like I like how he know he's soft. He don't try. I right. like that he know he, you know what I mean? He ain't trying. Because you got a lot of right. dudes that are trying, you know, and it's just right, like, right, right. You know, trying to make something. You don't happen. want that energy, you know right, what I mean? Right. Like, you just trust. You don't want that energy in your life. <laughs> right. So, like, like Wu Tang is authentic, and, you know. Yeah, that was a um, a post that you put. All these kids talking about gang, 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 but they don't want to be in it. They don't yeah, really like, want to be in the gang. Yeah, they just saying that, that life is they, not. They uh, it's not it, what's up. Heard it in the song, and, <laughs> and even if you can bust a gun and all this stuff, as long as you get in the courtroom, you gonna break. That's where <laughs> that's where the gangsters break. That's what they gonna right. tell you. Like right. anybody can shoot a gun, anybody can sell drugs, anybody can do all that. Right. But you gonna break in them courtrooms. Yeah. Like they gonna break you, fam. Right. Like if you ain't about it, they gonna break you. Right. Shout out to Vince Wright. Vince Wright in the chat room, sports governor of Minnesota. Oh, yeah, um, Michael Bella says, "What is Tony Braxton thinking, dating Birdman? I don't think he is for his looks. I don't know. I, I'm I don't confused about that, that one too." Miss Bella, I'm, I, don't, I, I don't understand I'm that either. Still kind of puzzled and befuddled, and all the words you can say that mean confused. Because I'm just, <laughs> I don't know. She yeah. say, well, for, <laughs> to her benefit, to his benefit, I mean, she say he's a nice guy. All her sisters even say he's a yeah. really nice guy. You know, so yeah. I mean, you know, we can only go off of what they say. You know, I mean, you know, we can only go off of what they say. So I mean, they they all say he's a nice guy. They say he. They say they've been friends for years, so yeah, you know. I mean, I mean it, I don't to, know. to they both to each old. His own. If they, <laughs> they like both, each other. They both older, so they both, you <laughs> right. know you get that age. You like you know what you down. want. Yeah, you know yeah. what you want. You like he good enough. Mm, this work. You know when you're younger, you be picky. You're like mm, he brushes his teeth. He got a job. You like he good enough. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like that's, that's what women turn into. But yeah, um, so I don't. I don't get that one either. Boga Bella says Tony Braxton must be desperate. Desperate. She get Play, uh, she ain't desperate. She's Tony Braxton, <laughs> man. Come on, man. She's still Tony Braxton. Um, a couple, of, couple of the Drake, Big L says Drake over Nas. Oh, that's what he's protesting. Drake over Nas. And I think, to me though, Nas is Nas is geographical though too. I right. Think right. If if I grew up, I went to college in Atlanta. I went to college at Morehouse. I had a roommate that was from Maryland. Nas was his favorite artist. If if I didn't hear that music based on him being a fan of his and then mm-hmm. me kind of being a fan by listening to the music more, yeah. I don't know if I would have listened to, I, to Nas as much. I think that's maybe what it was. I just didn't hear yeah. his music. I didn't really even know who Nas was like that, like yeah, that, yeah. until he started beefing with Jay. Right. Because I was a cold to hard Jay-Z fan. Like, that was the first rap I ever heard. Yeah. Jay-Z. Now, and, and also, if I if I stayed in Cali my whole life and I never left there, I probably I probably would not have known who 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 Nas was. I, yeah. I had one classmate that was like the biggest Nas fan ever. Yeah. I don't know. I Cali, don't like Texas, Nas this is his own like, country too. So, yeah. it's his so, own world out there. Like, you yeah. can go out there and find local artists that's popping. You would never hear them nowhere else. So, yeah, you're right. <laughs> um... Mm-hmm. The boss says he's trying to make a comeback with trap music I read somewhere. That could be a possibility. Now, do you need to yeah. date or marry Birdman just to get in the... In the I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I, hope she don't I do, do think she legacy. could be trying to make a comeback. I hope she don't do that to her legacy, man. Make a comeback. Please. Don't yeah. do no trap. Man. Her voice, Classic. there's nothing like... you know. I, I would compare it to Anita Baker. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. there's no one out there, even right now, I don't think, with, with a voice like that. Nah, the closest one that's been after her was Brandy. Okay, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Because Brandy can sing that, that deep, low, that yeah, octave. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's still something different, though, about her tone. It just sounds her cadence. Right. It just sounds different. You know it's her. When yeah, you, you know it's her when you heard. Uh, the boss says, Birdman just got his house repoed. He said, how the hell you get a house repo? <laughs> Low know. money. Shoot. You better pay them bills. Better hey, pay Burr them man, bills. Birdman man seemed like he owe everybody, man. I don't, I don't know. But, you know, the thing about it, though, is, see, when you get rich, a lot of people forget this. Like, because we on a certain level, right. we pay our bills ourselves. Right, 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 right. But when you get rich, you get people to pay your bills because yeah. you that busy. So, 
when he when situations like that now, if it comes down to where it's like all his mansions, yeah. we forget he got many mansions, you know. Right, right, right. Now if we get to the point where all his mansions are getting repoed, okay. But one mansion I ain't gonna, you know, it do look <laughs> funny because you owe everybody money, you know. Right, right. You know, old little Wayne everybody about fifty five. Right. Ems. So Um So Big L says, name Tony Braxton last song, question mark. I'll wait. <laughs> Fam. She had one with Babyface. I think she had one with Babyface. I think so too. <laughs> yeah, she did. She did. She did. Name Michael Jackson last song, dude. You can't name nobody last song. <laughs> he said the boss says laugh out loud. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So here's the last one. ATL, ATL music. I'm going to go ATL rappers. Old school. I'm going to say old school versus new school. So Jeezy, Gucci Man, T.I., yeah. et cetera. <laughs> that, that drop right there. I'm sure a lot of people use that. I think Kanye used that in one of his songs. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. A lot of people use that. I think that. it helped it, too. Yeah. Because his ad was a big part, like right. Jeezy. 20, versus 21 Savage, Little Yachty, etc. You know, all those, mm-hmm. all these young mm-hmm. coming up. I, me, personally, I'm definitely, when it comes to Atlanta, I don't know what the new Atlanta doing. I mean, I, <laughs> I rock with all the new artists, of course, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... I mean, I don't know. I guess when Jeezy came out, it just, you know, when, we were teenagers, man. So it yeah. was just, it when, just changed stuff. I think the biggest thing that changed Atlanta rap was obviously Outkast. Let me put, I got to put them in there too. Got to put Outkast in mm-hmm. there. But they when T.I. said, the I'm the king, to me, that that at that moment, people were like, Okay, we need to pay attention to mm-hmm. T.I. We need to pay mm-hmm. attention to this music. And that's when T.I. blew up. Yeah, and that's blew also up. when when Jeezy came out with a mixtape. I was in Atlanta when Jeezy came out. He came out, he was coming out with mixtapes every single week, it seemed like. But his name was so big that mm-hmm. he was bound, He was it was bound to blow. So, mm-hmm. all of those guys, I gotta go, I gotta go with the old school. Yeah, for sure. Versus the new school. Outcast, Outcast excuse me. Uh, organized sure. Noise. Oh, for sure. Dungeon Family. For sure, gotta do organized. Uh-huh. Good Giddy Mob, all of those guys. They, yeah, they, yeah. they came with it. Yeah, because Atlanta, uh, one thing I love about Atlanta, they always got this certain sound. I don't even know what it is. Even till, still to this day, I don't know what it is, but you know when it's they from Atlanta, or at least when a person was trying to emulate an Atlanta sound. Right. You know, so they got a certain sound. I don't really even know. You can't. It's, you can't really. What it is, but they definitely got a certain sound. But it's definitely. Mm-hmm. But it started like you said. It started yeah. with the Ti's, Jeezy's. Of course, Outkast broke down the barriers. Right, right, right. You know, they it started it all right there. Oh yeah, that's you know. Yeah, whole dungeon family. Yeah, I, I will. I will recommend you guys look up this. There's a documentary on Netflix. I think it's called Organized Noise. I think that's what it's called. But it talks about how they started. They were in like one of the guys from Organized Noise, like mom's basement. I'm talking about a basement that like was unfinished. They were down there. They would sleep down there. They would work down there. That's where yeah. Outcast first came out. That's where Goody Mob uh-huh. started. Go go watch it if you uh, if you guys got got time. If you got Netflix, go check it out. Like, but I believe it's called Organized Noise. But they yeah yeah I they, they really the started dungeon, it. yeah uh-huh. yeah. All right, so. Like I said, we got an in-studio guest, Cleo McLean, and he does a lot of motivational posts that that truly inspire me. So that's another reason why I wanted to get him on the show, to share some of the things, share some of those opinions, share some of those things that he's experienced, to also help motivate you guys. And I think a lot of times you come across posts, and it's all... And it, I'm, I'm not, I'm not down in it, but sometimes it's just not real. It's just talking about I'm like up here, and you can get up here too. It's, it's fun, but I think we gotta, we gotta be real with people. You gotta be mm-hmm. real if you're trying to reach. And this is me talking as a, a believer and a Christian. If you're trying to reach lost people, you cannot just be I'm gonna stay over here, right? And you guys come to me. That's not how it works. Right. You gotta go there to the people, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and that's what that's that's one thing that I truly respect about you um but talk about there was a post you had that said believing and believing in something that that you believe in or something that you want to 
to happen. And I just wanted you to kind of talk on talk on that topic. Okay, okay, yeah, man. Like as far as with you know believing, it's a it's a strong word, man. Like a lot of us overlook the power 